The SpaceX Starship is not just any rocket. It is both massive in size and incredible in power. Beyond its sheer scale, what truly sets it apart are the special ground systems designed to prepare it for launch and ensure its safe return to Earth. The space community has been on the edge of their seats in anticipation of an upcoming demonstration of Starship's ability to return from orbit. The path to realizing the Starship dream hasn't been straightforward. Like many pioneering ventures, Starship faced skepticism from various quarters. These doubts were further amplified when the first real-life test of the Starship prototype took place on April 20th. The world watched in both awe and anxiety as the massive rocket lifted off. The test ended in a dramatic explosion, casting a shadow of doubt over the project's immediate future. After the explosion of Starship 24, many might have thought that SpaceX would take a step back. However, they did quite the opposite. In a short span of just three months, SpaceX worked hard to address and fix 80% of the issues they faced. This shows their determination and commitment. Now, with renewed confidence, they're planning another launch with two new models, B-9 and Ship-25. This upcoming mission aims to achieve what the previous one, with B-7 and Ship-24, couldn't. Launching from Starbase in Texas, Booster 9 is prepared to fly at nearly 28,000 kilometers an hour. This speed will allow it to come back and land safely in the sea. As the Starship flies, the last piece of land it's expected to pass over is Indonesia. After that, it'll fly above the vast Pacific Ocean and will come back down towards Earth near Hawaii. This mission is designed to demonstrate how the Starship can travel long distances and safely return home. The entire journey, from liftoff to landing, is anticipated to be a brief 90-minute spectacle. At the end of this flight, Starship is planned to make its descent and settle on the water's surface, a significant departure from its usual landing approach. There won't be a landing pad waiting for it, nor the innovative Mechazilla catching mechanism that had once been discussed. SpaceX's choice for a splashdown landing for this particular Starship mission does raise eyebrows, given the company's established history of successful ground landings. Since 2015, the space community has been wowed by SpaceX's capability to bring the Falcon 9 first-stage rockets back to Earth, landing them upright on their specially designed legs. It's a sight that has become almost routine. Moreover, they've even successfully landed the significantly larger Starship prototype at their Starbase Texas location. SpaceX's decision to have Starship land in the ocean, rather than using a high-tech device like Mechazilla to catch it, stems from a mix of safety concerns and practical insights. When you think about it, letting Starship come back to Earth flat, akin to how a person would lie on their stomach, or as some say, a belly flop, poses certain challenges. This isn't just any move. It mirrors the way a skydiver might gracefully navigate their descent before landing. Now, the ocean, vast and deep, provides an ideal environment to test how Starship manages such a descent. The real-world experience of dropping the Starship into the sea lets SpaceX study the craft's behavior, assessing its performance as it navigates the complexities of re-entry. This hands-on test gives SpaceX the invaluable opportunity to witness how the spacecraft withstands the rigors of space travel, especially the intense heat and pressure that come with re-entering our planet's atmosphere. But there's also the undeniable benefit of the ocean's natural properties. Its vast waters cushion the spacecraft, offering a gentler and, in many ways, a more forgiving landing surface compared to the solid ground. The ocean absorbs much of the impact, minimizing potential damage to the Starship. SpaceX's hesitation to use Mechazilla for catching the Starship isn't just about the rocket itself, but also about the world it's launching from. The ground infrastructure, including the launch pad and all the accompanying technology and equipment, is incredibly complex and valuable. By avoiding catching the Starship mid-air with Mechazilla, SpaceX is essentially safeguarding this infrastructure. Imagine the intricacies of the launch pad. It's not just a slab of concrete. It's a sophisticated nexus of electronics, fueling systems, sensors, and support structures. Every piece has its place, its function, ensuring that the Starship has the best shot at launching successfully. But all of these intricate pieces are vulnerable. Even with today's technology, launching a rocket is never a 100% predictable endeavor. When Starship combined with Super Heavy first took off, it was a monumental moment in space exploration. The power harnessed by its 33 Raptor engines is no small feat, but that power comes with consequences. 
The sheer force of nearly 17 million pounds of thrust shook the ground and took a toll on the launch pad. And now as SpaceX aims to push the boundaries further by increasing this thrust to almost 19 million pounds. While Musk and the SpaceX team are renowned for their daring endeavors, they're also calculated and careful in their approach. Adding a mechanism like Mechazilla into this mix might complicate the situation further. Remember, complications during a launch or landing don't just mean a rocket failure. It could mean damage to the multi-million dollar ground infrastructure. Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, had initially targeted the launch of the Starship by the end of this summer. While many continue to hope for this dream to come true, recent developments suggest otherwise, particularly regarding the regulatory aspect of the launch. Since the explosion on the 20th of April, SpaceX has yet to submit its final accident report to the Federal Aviation Administration. This delay indicates that the ambitious Starship program is currently on hold, and the prospects of witnessing a second launch this summer are diminishing. The FAA has taken a keen interest in the investigation of the April 20th launch and has mentioned that they are still in anticipation of the required report from SpaceX. This report will illuminate the necessary corrective measures the company must undertake to obtain permission for another launch from Boca Chica. Speaking on the matter, an FAA spokesperson further stated that SpaceX would only receive a green light for flight operations after ensuring that the identified concerns from the mishap won't jeopardize public safety or any other licensing conditions. As of now, the investigation is still in progress. Despite the potential risks, the second launch of Starship remains a crucial step in the development process of the Starship spacecraft. SpaceX is doing what other companies can't iterating quickly, embracing failure, and continually pushing the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.